friends, it's Melanie. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Mama Mel. I thank you so much for stopping in today. Now, when you clicked on this video, I know some of you know exactly what would cause a woman to go to 18 Dollar General stores in three days. I got inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest that a friend of mine posted about this rug right here. My friend Kim had gotten this rug and I became obsessed with it. It started out just a regular trip. I thought, oh, I'll hit the Dollar General, you know, the one that's on the way and uh, see if they have it. Well, they didn't. So I thought about, well, there's another one right down the road here. So I hit it. And then I thought, well, just one more. So I hit it. The first day I hit three Dollar Generals and I struck out. I thought, well, you know, it just wasn't meant to be. If I'm out and send another one, I'll stop. Well, the next day I was off work and I thought, I'll go to, you know, that other Dollar General. So long story short, one day, one store turned into three days and 18 different trips to Dollar Generals. You'll have to stay on to the end to see if I got my rug. I'm gonna be that person that makes you wait. But I'm gonna also give you a haul of the things that I did get at the Dollar General, the different 18 stops that I made, and really just a small haul. I had my heart set on the rug, so I really had willpower. But I'll show you what I got real quick. The first thing I got was this cute little pillow here, and it says, home sweet home, it's nice and neutral. I thought this would be pretty on my bed, or my couch, or um, any place like that. And then I got some hummingbird food because it's that time of year when my hummingbirds are coming back. So I needed some hummingbird food. Oh, I forgot to tell you the price. This pillow was $8. And that's a really nice fluffy pillow for $8. My hummingbird food was $2.50. Then I got a set of these cute little uh storage containers last year for the kitchen. These are $5. Last year's is a little bit different, but it comes with three different sizes. They nest together. There's one more in there, and each one of them has a lid, and I bought two of these last year. They were so pretty, so when I saw them back this year, you know, I've cracked some of them here and there, so when I saw them come back, um, I picked up another one this year. So that was $5. Then I saw this beautiful little um, glass pump for $3. Thought that would either be pretty in my bathroom or maybe at my kitchen sink. I like to put my dish soap in something that's pretty. And um, I also, I have a floral um, problem. I love all things floral and springy. I think they're beautiful. But I found this really nice set of ceramic coasters. And these were $2.50. And then I found this cute little wooden sign. And it has a little, you know, kickstand on the back. And this little sign, it was $3. And I like to put things in my kitchen window, flowers or just different things I find. This one has the little metal family. And then this is painted on here. It's um, kind of distressed looking. It says light. Family is life's greatest blessing. And then I found this little uh, sign and it has a little hanger on the back of it. And this was $3 and it has a cute little gingham print, little buffalo, gray buffalo check border. And it says family is everything and family is everything to me. And then I found this little sign for $3, and I just love this. I like to keep different signs and um, have a little nail over my stove where I'm at most of the time cooking. And I like to change out just different little things hanging over there. But this one says, do small things with great love. And I just live by that motto. Um, I am not a woman who has a high-powered job or anything like that, but I just feel like every little thing that I do, I want to do it with love because it matters to whoever I'm serving. And then the last thing I want to show you, I got a pair of PJs. These were $15 because I was going to need a nap after all of this uh, Dollar General shopping. 
but the pants they're like this pretty um, blue and pink stripe and they have a little cuff at the bottom they're nice and baggy and then the top is just a pretty pink um, little v-neck and it says I can't adult today and it's like a peachy pink it's just so pretty and it's got navy blue writing on it so back to the rug well, first, I'm going to put my friend Kim's Instagram down in my description box. The one that I got this inspiration for this rug from. Um, Kim does, is working on a website right now, but she does lots of DIYs. She left a career of 30 years recently, and she's now doing DIYs, crafting. She does home decor, signs, all this kind of stuff. She's been selling locally where she lives, but she is working on a website. And I will put a link to her Instagram, and I'll also put it up on the screen right here. So you can go over to Instagram and follow Kim and check out all her crafting items. So now, back to my rug. I did not find my rug here where I live. But that's not the end of the story. You never know where you'll find things. So when I was on this search for the rug, my mom was out of town on vacation in another state. She said, hey, what are you doing? I said, well, I told her about my plight. I'm looking for this rug at Dollar General. She said, do you have a picture of it? And I said, Lord, you know I do. So I sent her a picture of it. And she said, if just out pinning around, we see a Dollar General, we'll stop. So... Look what my mom found me. This beautiful rug. It was only $8. Bless this home. Absolutely love it. She found this rug for me about two states away at another Dollar General. So, three states, 19 Dollar Generals, and I got my rug. And I felt like um, Cousin Eddie from Christmas Vacation when my mom told me she found it. I said, well, while you're at it, Clark, get yourself something real nice, too. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed my little Dollar General haul. These things, they're just things. This rug, it's going to wear out. These little knickknacks and things, I'll enjoy them while I have them in my house. But you know what the best part of this little Dollar General three-day excursion was, I had my daughter with me. And time is fleeting, and we had the best time. We made some great memories over these three days. Just searching these Dollar Generals on this treasure hunt, we just had a lot of fun laughing and cutting up and being together. So, you know, this, this, all these things, I love them. They're cute. They're just things. They're not going to last but family will last. And I'm so happy for the memories that we made. So I hope you enjoyed this Dollar General haul. Uh, let me know down in the comments, how long have you searched for something at the Dollar General before you found it? Please consider subscribing to my channel. This is different. I don't do a lot of hauls except grocery hauls. Most of the time I'm in the kitchen cooking, but I thought this was just too fun not to share. Go over to Instagram and follow Kim and keep up with all the crafts that she's doing. And until I see you the next time, I just send you love from my kitchen.